Hi everyone, I'm Margarita Muradova, I'm a personal stylist and fashion consultant from Kiev, Ukraine and uh, long time no see, obviously I've been absent from this channel, I'm very sorry, I've had very valid reasons for this and I'll explain them in a second. So just saying that first of all, I just took a pause for my mental health there was a lot on my plate i had a lot of projects to film and to do etc etc and specifically i had two main projects in the works and one of them is literally launching today as we are speaking so that's the reason of my absence and another one is launching on march first and it's going to be pretty major because that's the project that i've been working on for the last four years but as of now i'll tell you first of all about the project that we've been working on with our marizmi team over the last half a year at least it's a project called mod edit it's basically a seasonal shoppable fashion online magazine in a pdf form and the reasoning behind that is first of all me being a stylist i work with a lot of clients I have a lot of stylists as clients as well. Also, I teach stylists to become stylists. So therefore, I know a lot of like issues of people dealing with clothing, style, etc, etc. And second of all, inside our team, inside our beautiful Morizmi team, we have an amazing ex-chief editor of Harper's Bazaar Ukraine. Her name is Anna Zimskova. And we've been talking about having the opportunity to gain this momentum to do something together that would totally make sense and to me totally made sense and when we discussed this it was like this eureka moment for us to combine the best of both worlds for us editorial and styling and in order to combine these two we, what we came up with is basically a seasonal fashionable clickable online magazine that's filled with more than 2,000 select items of different types of clothing, of different types of materials, uh, styles, etc., etc., and also budget segments in different categories. So you will have all of your basics covered for the season. You will have all of your trending items covered. You will see trends and also how to implement those trends. And you will see a select of items in different fashion categories and budget categories within the trending elements and also within all of those finds you will be able to see how to style those things and how to implement these things into your own wardrobe also you will see a lot of fashion capsules for different types of occasions in order for you to feel free to work within these capsules for this whole season and at each and every time the mod edit will come out on the first date of the first seasons for example the first mod edit will be on the march 1st it will go off on march 1st you will have the availability to click on it download it have it on your phone click on it always use it whatever it is everything is very clickable in there you will have more than 300 outfits created out of all the finds in this edit as well as some niche brand finds so brands that are not really out there not very like mega not everyone's talking about them but they're they're very cute also we'll take care of making sure that we implement a lot of different budget segments so we will have mass market middle market and luxury segment as well as some fashion friendly and beautiful vintage finds also there's going to be a beauty finds and beauty selection section for sure and my favorite one which is lounge homeware outerwear and everything that has to do with home and home decor and there's going to be also a lot of budget segments in there and it's going to be overall about 200 page long pdf clickable fashionable online magazine that is going to cater to those who do not have time and patience to go through millions and millions of web pages and sites of different brands to look for something they need because this is something 
something that we will do for you. We will not only provide the selection of different items within each category, but also our selection of uh, styling tips and tricks, of outfits within those categories, so that you will have to take all the thought out of creating the outfits. You will have to take all the thought and time out of searching for the things that you need. If you're thinking of like uh, the perfect brand jean or, or the perfect white pan for spring, we've got you. We'll have a lot of them within different budget segments. And also we will show you how to style them and implement them into your wardrobe. So right now you have the opportunity to sign up for Mod Edit for a special price via the link below and all the information is going to be there as well. And uh, yeah, this is it for now. The second project I was talking about is the project that I've been working on over the last, I'd say, four years. It's a passion project of mine. It combines three things I love most about the things that I do. I know it sounds very mysterious, but it will make sense at some point. On March 1st, it will make sense. And uh, let's get into the first topic of this year because obviously all we want to talk about is trends and this year trends are very, very cool and major and the first trend we're going to talk about is 80s. And I absolutely love 80s and also I want to mention the fact that it's very interesting that simultaneously we have 80s and 50s that are very popular and they're polar opposites because 50s are very like feminine and flowy and delicate and 80s is all about feminine power, power shoulders, women becoming CEOs, etc, etc. So totally different but very popular at the same time which is very interesting and also they're very combinable and 80s for example is is power shoulders, is oversized pants with a higher waist, 80s is definitely like big curls, 80s is men's suits on women. I love 80s. 80s also is very much about sports and implementing sports into your everyday outfits, which I feel like we're all very into, specifically high tops, specifically sporty pants, sweatpants, jersey, etc, etc. All of these things are going to be very popular this year. And and they actually have started being popular the previous year, like by the end of the previous year. So the things that you can look into first, if you're just tipping your toe into the 80s theme and you're not sure if that's your thing, let's start with the periphery, right? So whatever I'm seeing, usually it comes here as well. So it's very useful to start with accessories, shoes, bottoms and only then get into the top section because because of the proximity of the top section to your face section it's very accentuated so whenever you wear something like a blouse or a top or whatever over here it's very in focus so unless you're very sure about the aesthetic you're going for about the item you're trying on i'd suggest going down first and then going up next and then maybe going total 80s look when you're very very ready but i feel like 80s is also something that's very subtle 80s are not very out there so the perfect example of 80s style if you've seen the movie called curly sue if you have not it's a crime and i suggest you do because it's such a beautiful movie starring jim belushi and the main female heroine there, not the girl, but the woman in there, her style is the total epitome of the 80s, of the 80s working CEO, women boss, etc., etc. Whatever she's wearing there looks stunning. So this is the 80s. So you can ex start experimenting with like implementing some of a bigger shoulder, then maybe some loafers paired with uh, pants, trouser pants. Then maybe let's do high tops with classic cigarette pants. So combining different styles, not going all out right away is the way to go. And the next trend we're gonna talk about is the trend that I'm literally wearing right now is red shoes. 
Never have I ever seen so many types of red shoes on the runway. And this year, the year 2024, I tell you, is going to be the year of the red shoe. It's actually going to be the year of the red overall, but the red shoe is definitely the winner because it's so workable, it's so implementable, because it's so far from your face, so you can work with it. It's not too in your face, it's not too in focus. You can mix and match this kind of color with something more neutral like what I'm wearing and not make it too loud if you're not very into that aesthetic and also there's so many types and shades and depths of red so you can experiment a lot within those and also there are so many types of shoes so there can be loafers there can be high heels there can be boots there can be biker shoes whatever it is red will work perfectly with whatever you have in your wardrobe and a red shoe and I'm not saying this lightly a red shoe is an absolute must for 2024 and this is definitely something that you will be able to wear years and years to come this is not like a one-off trend so i recommend going into the type of a shoe that you're comfortable with that you're usually working with for example you wear a lot of sneakers loafers ballet flats or high heels and take one type of these shoes and make them red and then implement them in your wardrobe and if you feel comfortable you can go on and on and buy more shoes but actually i'd suggest staying with a couple of pairs just not to go overboard with the red thing the next trend is something that's very reminiscent of, I want to say, 2010s. It's very boho. It's very kind of um, chic, but grungy chic. It's French absolutely everywhere. So French details on dresses, on skirts, on bags, on your accessories. And this comes very in because the most popular, one of the most popular aesthetics for this year is indie sleeves. And this kind of an indie sleeves aesthetic is a very specific type of a mix of boho and grunge that's been very representative in Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen style in 2010s and also also uh, Kate Moss's style, so something that's kind of like dirty, ripped, smudged makeup, but still grungy, but still chic. This is somewhere in the middle, somewhere in the middle, somewhere in there, there's indie sleeves. And fringe is a beautiful way to implement this kind of an element of the specific style into your clothing without going overboard, because indie sleeves is a very specific out there aesthetic and not everyone is into that. But even a minimalist can use some fringe in their outfits just to give some texture to their looks. So French can go literally a long way. And the next trend is literally this. <laughs> Emotional support bags just as they are. And if you ask me who started this, it definitely was I think Jane Birkin. So basically, this is also a Birkin bag. It was named after Jane Birkin. And numerous times when she was caught with the bag, she was caught with the bag overflowing with stuff. She wasn't very precious and delicate with the bag. She literally wore it to the bone. She put a lot of keys in there. She put all her shoes and whatever in there, food, baguette, whatever. And she didn't like make it look like it was a very precious thing because she wore it literally wore it so this is something that's going to be very in this year specifically we've seen this on on with already on Miu Miu shows and other shows Balenciaga they try to imitate the whole Birkin messy Birkin look and this is literally what I took here to my shooting location today so this is not an, even an imitation I have a lot of stuff in here I have two cosmetic bags I have a pair of boots in here i have a nori snack and uh yeah i have a lot of stuff in here so literally emotional support packs are something that's going to be very in this year and i'm really happy about this because i feel like fashion has to be more wearable i feel like fashion needs to be more accessible to people who are wearing it as opposed to just looking in posing as opposed to we're wearing micro bags that are like absolutely useless unless you're just putting like a coin in there or something i feel like fashion needs to be more relaxed and it is becoming relaxed and it is becoming more inclusive so i feel like this is also a step towards that direction 
And the last trend I'm gonna talk about is a trend for specifically semi-sheer dresses. Obviously, we're talking about not like completely sheer dresses, but semi-sheer dresses and tops are going to be very in this year. And the way to do that properly is actually to layer. What I'm saying is not necessarily just be, being like going bare and like wearing nothing and then wearing a sheer dress over it, but layering a semi-sheer dress with specifically a brighter, more contrasting underwear, maybe leggings, maybe um, I'd say capris or shorts or whatever to bounce it up to mix it up to make it less sexy and more controversial and more interesting and more contrasting and semi-sheer dresses are going to be very very beautifully paired for example for this specific season so for the beginning of spring kind of ish when it's still kind of cold outside it would be beautiful to pair a bigger boot with a semi-sheer knit dress for the warmer season it's definitely going to be i'd say maybe roman sandals maybe flip-flops something that takes out the seriousness and the sexiness and the edge out of the dress but if you want to go there and you can go there absolutely you can go the sexy way you can take some high heels maybe even like pointy high heels uh, red pointy high heels so do two trends in one and then a semi sheer dress and then maybe put it over a contrasting underwear and then maybe take a textured back or clutch and that will be your your stunning beautiful very fashion forward evening look and uh, let me know in the comments below which one of the trends for this year is the trend for you check out mod edit and make sure to subscribe to mod edit before the special price is out and uh, yeah i'll see you in the next one bye